This is Paul Emergia signing in, ePatient Conference, Philadelphia 2010. And I have with me Michael Ferguson from Ayogo Gamification Company. That's right, Ayogo Games. A our company is named after two of the oldest games in the world. Ayo is the oldest continuously played game in human history. It's one of the Mancala games from East Africa. Mm -hmm. And Go we like because despite the fact it's ancient, it's digital because it's played with black and white pixels. Very good. Michael, you gave a presentation, or you were part of a presentation, of a very interesting Facebook game that focuses on diabetes, correct? That's right. Um, Health Seeker is the game that we created for the Diabetes Hands Foundation. It's designed to help people who are living with diabetes to habituate healthier behaviors around diet and exercise. Can you give a maybe a quick little explanation of what the game mechanics were and perhaps how you encourage social interaction and spreading it virally throughout Facebook? Sure. So the game is designed to use some of the most conventional, well-known techniques of social game design, compulsion loops around achievements, around uh, collecting, and uh, around reciprocal social obligation to help people habituate new behavior. The game has a collection of missions and actions that you take on, single atomic actions that are all healthy for you, but instead of rewarding you with health, which turns out to be very little motivation for most people, if we were motivated by health, then we'd all be healthy. Um, it actually motivates you by using game mechanics, in, in effect rewarding you with uh, dopamine release in your brain for having done healthy things in the short term. So, so you're getting that dopamine reward as you're playing the game. Is there any tracking or quantified self sort of aspect to it? Is there anything using like your real life data, putting it into the game, or is it just right there on Facebook, you play the game, and the reward comes from playing the game itself? Yeah, the, the game is its own reward. We, we like to say that we've designed the game so that you could take all the health information out of it and replace it with information about watering your plants, say, and the game would play the same way. It's around um, letting people take small actions, report the actions to the game. Of course, the actions take place in your real life away from the game, oh, and then reporting them back to the game, and we provide you with rewards. We use um, the idea that people are watching you, your friends are there in the game paying attention to what you're doing to help people stay honest. Okay, well, uh, social, using the social graph as a way to motivate behavior change. I think a few people have tried to, to speak about that, and you feel that you got some sort of success or lift from this game and from this adaptation on Facebook to, with the Bi Diabetes Foundation? Well, I think it's pretty clear that the game does motivate behavior, and in fact, it's the, it's the social features of the game that are the very most motivating at all. Of all, we've discovered that people who issue challenges to other people to take on actions with them are likely to have twice as many completed healthy actions as people who have not sent challenges. And people who have received challenges are nearly three times as likely to have, uh, or they have nearly three times as many completed healthy actions. So it turns out that that's the very most motivating thing of all, is the idea that there are other people who are there with you. Okay, well that's fabulous, and I thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. Hopefully when we do some editing, we'll actually include the links to somehow either go to your company or go to the game. This is Paul Emergia signing off.